it's animation time. At some point, you may want to add animations to objects or characters in your game, like an idle, walk, or run cycle, or just add some funny animations. To start, we're going to add an always sensor and an action actuator, then connect them together and check the frame tick icon. Select your animation of choice. For me, it's the idle animation and set the end frame. For me, it's 120. Set the action type to loop stop. This is pretty important to get the blending effect you want. For the blend, set it to six. You can play with the blend amount. I just find that six works the best for me. The priority is really important. The way it works is the first animation you want to play, like an idle animation, needs to be the highest number in the animation order. For example, the idle animation will be 12, the walk will be 11, and the run will be 10. That way the animation can go back to the proper place when one is finished. For the walk cycle, the process is pretty much the same, but we'll use a keyboard sensor and make sure to check the frame icon on this as well. Then connect it to the action actuator. Set the action actuator to loop stop and the end frame to the end of your animation. Set the blend to 6 and the priority to 11. When we play the game and press the W key on the keyboard, we'll see the walk cycle blend from the idle animation. And when we release the key, it will go back to the idle animation. Adding the run cycle is pretty much the same as the walk cycle, except we'll add a modifier key. So we'll need to press the W and shift key to activate the run cycle. Now set the action end frame, loop stop, and the priority to 10. Now we have nice blending animations. You can also use this to play shape key animations. Just select the objects you have shape keys on and add a keyframe by pressing the I key with your mouse cursor over the shape key. It will then turn yellow when a keyframe is added. Shape keys cannot be added to the action editor. So if you want multiple shape key animations for one object, make sure to space them out on the timeline. Otherwise, they'll all play at once. I made a little blink animation for this character, and to make it work in the game, just select your object and add a property sensor and an action actuator. Set the end frame and the blend. I have the priority set to 5, but you don't have to set it for shape keys. Since it uses the dope sheet editor, it won't blend the same since the action actuator sees all animations as the same action on the dope sheet. Set the layer to 1 if you're using multiple shape key animations. I want the blink animation to activate randomly, so I added an always sensor and a random actuator. Connect them together and check the frame tick icon. Then add a property sensor and connect it to the action. Set the random actuator to int uniform and leave the minimum on 0 and the max to a number like 12 or 60. This will control how often the blink animation plays. Then set the property to any number between 0 and 60. When we play the game, our character will blink. You can also do this to cameras, but that'll probably be its own tutorial. If there's anything else you'd like to see me do, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, I've been Lox, and I'll see you in the next video.